reaction rate part 2. Integrated rate equation is all about to consider about the time factor. To answer the question such as, how long will it take for the x mole per liter of A to be used up? Or, what is the concentration of A after y minutes of reaction? In the greater rate equation and half-life for zero order, we have to combine the rate differential equation and rate law to get the integrated rate equation. So the integrated rate equation is the concentration of A0 minus AT equal to KT. While for the half-life, when the concentration AT equal to A0 divided by 2, the half-life equal to A0 divided by 2K. A0 is the concentration of A at time equal to 0, while AT is the concentration of A at any time. This is the graph involved for zero order. This is a graph time versus concentration of A in a zero order reaction. Several observations can be made. The slope of this plot is a straight line with negative slope equal to negative K. The half-life of zero order reaction decrease as the concentration of A decreases. So from the graph, we also can see that the first half-life equal to 2 times second half-life. First order reaction. Combination between differential rate equation and rate law. We get the integrated rate equation equal to ln A0 over AT equal to KT while for the half-life equal to ln 2 over K. This is the tree graph for first order. In first order reactions, the graph represents the half-life is different from zero order reaction in a way that the slope continually decreases as time progresses until it reaches zero. Another way to see it is that the half-life of a first order reaction is independent of its initial concentration. So, the first half-life equal to second half-life. For second order, Combination between differential rate equation and rate law, we get the integrated rate equation 1 over AT minus 1 over A0 equal to KT, while for the half-life is equal to 1 over K time concentration A0. And this is the graph involved in second order. Half-life of second order reaction shows concentration A versus time, which is similar to first order plots in that their slopes decreases to zero with time. However, second order reaction decreases at a much faster rate as the graph shows. As we can see, that the first half-life is two time than second half-life. This is the overview order of reaction for zero, first and second order, starting from rate law, integrated rate law, the half-life formula, and the unit of K. And last but not least, this is the overview of the graph involved in each order of reaction. Till then, thank you.